live, enjoy, and be grateful. That is the motto of the coconut community in my village, Sibang Kajam. Coconut, if you hear the word coconut, many of you will imagine a sweet, fresh water. But coconut is more than a fresh water. Coconut is a tree with a thousand benefits. In 1970, my village was famous from its coconut oil. And almost all of my community in my village worked as a coconut oil producer. Coconut oil has been part of my life since I was a child. When I was seven, I used coconut oil a lot. My grandmother used to make coconut oil. At that time, we ate only with rice mixed with a little bit of coconut oil and salt. Even though that sounds very simple, but the taste of that food was amazing. But right now, everything is changing very fast, especially in my village. It is very hard right now to find a people who still process coconut oil. This is very confusing. Because if a lot of people say that my village is famous because of the coconut oil, but why are there only a few who still processing it? What make them stop? Arikasi is the name of plant family that coconut tree belongs to. There are over 150 species of coconuts that can be found in 80 different countries throughout the world. There are over 150 species of coconuts that can be found in 80 different countries throughout the world. The coconut tree grows only in tropical climate, which is in our country, Indonesia. Coconut is one type of tree where almost every part of it has benefits, including fruit, woods, roots, and leaves. In many places, as in Indonesia, coconut trees are cultivated both in houses and plantation. And right now, coconut tree is known as tree of life because this tree can produce a variety of products derived from various parts. It can build houses, used for decoration and even medicine. In Bali, coconut oil has been one of the products from coconut tree that had a great business potential. We use coconut oil all day every day, from cooking, skin care, body massage, hair care, and some people like my dad drink coconut because it has a good health benefit. It is believed it may also boost your heart health. Now, we know the benefits. Let's go back to my first question. What happened with the coconut community in my village? Why could I only find a few who are still processing coconut oil? During the last year, when I start to learn about this community, I realized that this community had a big potential to move forward, to become bigger, but many of them were not aware of this opportunity. All of these people have been working as a coconut oil producer for around 20 to 30 years. But after 20 to 30 years of processing coconut oil, many of them have not been able to reach a prosperous life. Many of them still have difficulty to meet their daily needs. I was shocked. This is happening not only in my village, but this is also happening across Bali. I met one of the oil producers from Gyanyar, Bali. He felt the same way, struggling to meet their economic needs. During those 20 to 30 years of processing coconut oil, not a lot of things have changed in their life. They were not making any money, even enough money to buy food for their family. When I first learned about this, I was so angry. Why does this happen? 
why our coconut communities who have been making oil for over 20 years unable to see any improvement in their economic capacity? Why can they improve their family well-being? To answer this question, it was important to understand more about the people experiences. And I got so many answers, and this answer were so many problems. One, lack of access to the large coconut supplies. I bet you didn't think I would say this, but in fact, it is hard for Balinese coconut oil producer to find enough coconuts. Of course, Bali is full of coconuts. However, many of the coconut will be sent to Jaffa, where they will be processed into food, drink, craft, and oil. The Japanese buyer arrive and pay for the coconuts before the coconuts ready to be used for oil production. This available income means the farmer go for this option rather than waiting for the Balinese oil producers. Technology, so there are less income for the producer and less coconut. This led to the second problem as they cannot afford to buy a new machine that help them to grade the coconut to a different quality. This led to the second problem as they cannot afford to buy new machine that help to grade the coconuts to a different quality than by hand. It also slower methods mean that they make less. Balinese people are not interested anymore in buying coconut oil. Many of the Balinese, especially Sibang Kaje residents, no longer have an interest in using coconut oil because the price is more expensive than other oil they find in the market. In 1980 until 1990, coconut oil in Bali sold at price of 3,000 rupiah. But right now, one, one liter of coconut oil is 30,000 rupiah. According to 20 people around my village, they prefer to use other oil such as palm oil because the price is more cheaper than the price of virgin coconut oil. Also over the course of a week, the quality of coconut oil changes, make it less durable than other oil. This problem all have negative impact on the coconut oil businesses and soon all the oil producer in my village will be decreased or maybe there will be no more coconut oil producer in my village. The question we must ask ourselves is where do the product I buy come from? Most of us consume the products that come from outside Bali. Perhaps this is because the big shops stock these products. Perhaps this is because it is easier to access this product. Or maybe because we are not aware of the impact on Balinese coconut oil businesses. Supporting local business means that we are not only helping our local community, but this is also good for the environment. Local businesses have a smaller carbon footprint than a larger company. It is that simple. Carbon footprint is every action that releases harmful carbon, such as CO2. A carbon footprint is the total amount of greenhouse gas emission that come from the product use and the end of life of a product or surface. So, if we import oil from outside Bali, we have to consider how much fuel we use because the, big, the, the more fuel we use, the bigger our footprint will be. This picture helps to show us that one product can use multiple transport to arrive in your local shop. It helps us to understand and think about how large our carbon footprint is if we always import oil or other products from outside Bali. The reality is that the Balinese coconut community cannot afford the very food for their family. They cannot transform their business from bottom up. After a few months learn about this, I felt I need to take action. I need to do something. Then 
I decided where did any input from any people, I make an organization where I invite all the coconut oil producer in my village to join and together we make their business bigger. I started to collect the oil from them every week and receive whatever amount of oil they were able to make. Some of those who are older only able to make three liter every week, but there are some who are able to make 10 liter every week. Working together means that we have a larger supply available. I sell the oil through Facebook by promoting on Facebook group of Changu community, Ubud community, and then Pasar community. All the profit will go to the all coconut oil producer in my village. With help from the project hub, I got funds to buy a new machine for the coconut producer and packaging for the oil that is more environmentally friendly. If we want to reduce our carbon emission, protect our environment and rebuild our community, we need to open our mind and connect with our local businesses. Some of our coconut oil producers are suffering right now and they need our support. And to fight against the climate change, we need them more than ever. So, I would like to invite Green School to connect with the coconut community in my village, engage more locally by using their oil and build a strong relationship with them. Buying local is not a new thing, but turning it into a habit is something that we have to learn. Thank you.